Hello there and welcome to the shop. I have noticed in the comments section and emails that have been sent to me that there are a lot of new stats out there and a lot of people that don't know too much about CNC routers and that would like to know. So, so this is the first real job that I'm doing with this newly finished CNC router so I thought I would start everybody off from the very beginning and uh, show you how to use one of these. Now I do notice everybody's a little bit afraid about G-code and coordinate systems. Well, they're very simple really. And follow along with me and uh, I'll show you all about it. So the first thing to do is to get our piece of material on the bed nice and square. So I've just got a T-square here. I, you can either put them in the, the slot provided uh, for the for the to lock the material down. I mean that's pretty square. Or you can you can measure off the front edge of the the machine to get it perfectly level in the X. Okay, across the bed that way is X. Down the bed that way is Y. And of course the spindle that's the router head here, up and down is Z. Okay, so we get this square and we put our clamps on. I've already got a couple on the back here. There's firm. So what you normally get is what they call a T-slot uh, bolt. And what you need to do is slot it in like so. And do it a bit. But get a corresponding piece of material that is the same height as the material you're going to cut, or slightly bigger. Now this is one millimeter thicker than that. This is 18 millimeter, and this is 19 millimeter. It is preferable to have the nose of the clamp angled slightly down. Okay because the vibration of the machine, if you had it, I see a lot of people on the internet having the clamps like this, angled like this. Well, what happens is with the vibration of the machine, it, uh, the wood slips out. So, if you do it properly first time, you won't have any trouble. So, we'll tighten that one down. Having placed our material securely on the table, it's now necessary to home the CNC router. And you do that by pressing the ref all button on Mac 3. And the ref all button in this screen set of Mac 3 is just down here in the bottom corner, and the CNC router will automatically reference all the axes. So what I just did there, referencing the axes, was getting Mac 3 to send each individual axes up to what's known as the home switches. Now, all that's doing is allowing the computer to understand, or Mac 3, to understand, well, this is the extremity of the table. 
So when you set up Mark III, or when it's been done for you, the measurement's taken from here to here, and just logged into Mark III, so then Mark III knows that this carriage can travel in the X, X amount of distance uh, in all the axes. Okay, so this is just a reference point. And it's technically called the machine home. This, this position is the machine home zero zero. And this is also the position for the CNC router where you carry out a tool change because it's very convenient over in this corner and off the table and up high. You can do it very easily. So I'm going to put this half inch or 12.7 millimeter two flute cutter in to do a roughing cut in this piece of work. So this is an, what's commonly known as an ER20 collet. I'll just take it off. All a collet, collet is, is a very precise chuck or interchangeable chuck. So this is an ER20. It just goes in there like that. Goes in on the end of the shaft. There's, a, there's, there's two tapers. One here, one here. So when this squeezes up in here and onto the shank of the tool okay it squeezes in very very tightly and holds it very accurately on the shaft of the tool this, these are very sharp so watch your fingers And you do this up firmly, you do not have to over tighten this. Just because it's a big nut on here doesn't mean to say you've got to reef on it really tight. Just squeeze it up firm, very firm like that. Perfect. Okay, so I've got a, a cross on here for the center of the material. Now, when I did the program in Cavco, I uh, made the program orientation or the start of this job the program in the center of the material uh, this particular job I just find it easier to do that so what I'm going to do is jog over jog means to move the axes over to this center here and I'm going to line this tool up with this cross for the start of the program that's moving a little fast so I'm just going to slow the speed down that's better taking it fairly close to the material okay so what I'm doing is lining up this cutting surface here and this one here with the the line in the Y direction first Okay, that's pretty good. Do the same in the X. That's okay as well. I'm going to slow it down even further. Now you do that uh, just in, in one of the windows in Mac 3. Uh, you just alter it by a percentage. I've just altered it to 1%. Now, the easiest method to find out this uh, tool height in relation to the material is just put a piece of paper underneath and just move it slightly and, and bring the tool down until it just grabs the paper.
Okay, well, I've just grabbed it there. So you can safely say that that is now on the top of the material. And then I'll show you what to do. There are two things we need to do now. Um, and because we've honed our machine, we come to the soft limits and turn them on. This is just a safety precaution that the machine doesn't go bashing itself into uh, the, uh, you know, past where it should go then, should we say. And then, as we have positioned our tool in the start of the job, right, this is commonly known as the work offset. Now, just zero, 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 the X, Y, and Z. So after you've, you've done that, it's necessary to lift the tool in the Z up off the material, like so, just a ways, and in this case it's about 20 millimeters. Another safety precaution. Okay, so what we have just done there is the computer has brought the router head over to the machine zero coordinate or homed the machine then we took the red head over with the correct tool in it to the correct location of where we need to start the program running which we previously set up in Kavka okay so maybe it's all tying in with you now so the next job we're going to do is put the first roughing cut into Mac 3. So we come here to File, top right hand corner up here, press that, load G code. Now it's on the desktop. Um, let's cut two, cut one, here we go. And we're going to load this. And there it is in the viewing window here. So good practice to have then is go to the regen which is just here uh, just on this bottom corner and press that. Now Mac 3 rejigs itself, checks everything and makes sure everything that is okay and uh, if there was a problem a message would come up uh, in the box down here saying that there's a problem. But uh, Everything looks A-OK, -okay. so now we're about ready to start the cut. OK, here we go. I'm actually starting the program at 50% of uh, running speed, uh, because uh, I just want to be sure that everything goes uh, according to plan. Here we go. 